Hi, my name is Thea Arnold. I am the parent of a child with multiple disabilities, and I also work in the field as an educational advocate and as a conference planner in the field of disabilities related topics. I used to work as a Medicaid services coordinator, and now I do uh, part-time advocacy and conference planning. My audience is the parents of developmentally disabled kids, educators in the public school system, and service professionals in the field of disabilities. The problem or challenge I will be addressing is what I like to call the playdate problem. Typically developing children often form friendships in their neighborhoods or at school. Kids who have substantive disabilities are less likely to follow this model for a variety of reasons. They may have issues with social skills, they may have mobility impairments or hearing or vision impairments, or any of a host of other challenges that all but preclude this as a possibility. Not all typically developing kids are comfortable negotiating the largely unknown terrain of a friend with a noticeable difference. Even kids who are friendly to your child at school may not be willing to remain open to the possibility of hanging out with a kid in a wheelchair, wheelchair or with a kid who has verbal tics, etc. Much of this is dependent on what kind of community has been modeled for this child both at home and at school. As a parent, unless you live in a relatively large city and belong to a parent group through which you could theoretically access other kids close in age to your own, finding playdates naturally is next to impossible. Sometimes if you ask parents of typically developing kids directly, say at the park or at the library when you notice your kids are playing together, they seem to feel put on the spot. And to be fair, any number of things could be going through their heads, right? My house isn't safe enough for a kid with disabilities or what will my little Johnny say to this little girl who's not able to talk except through an iPad? Stuff like that. Alternately, if you have heard through your child's aide at school or through his or her teacher at school that your child has favorite peers, you can invite a potential friend over to your house to play with your child. However, often folks don't respond to those overtures, and if they do, the situation can feel awkward for one or both sets of parents. The best luck I have had organizing anything remotely resembling a play date for my 11 year old daughter is either by organizing a large birthday party for her at a facility that had several large bounce houses with which much of the community was familiar, or inviting one or two peers to meet in a large park over a particular weekend in the warmer months. In both scenarios, all of the children seem to have an enjoyable time. The problem with this is that in upstate New York, it is more often chilly than warm, and organizing anything in a facility takes some wherewithal, both financially and organizationally. I often think longingly of naturally occurring social situations where my daughter could share a laugh or an interest with a playmate, could work on her social skills, etc. I think a lot of kids who have disabilities really wrestle with loneliness and peer relations, and that seems to be a largely unmet problem. So how to implement the idea of addressing getting playdates for kids? I thought if dating sites can exist and even flourish, why couldn't a playdate site online? It would, of course, be HIPAA compliant and not use names, but perhaps, perhaps list elements such as the kid's age, gender, interests, abilities and challenges, possible places to meet that were agreeable to both parties, and the parent's contact info. This way, the population is self-selecting. Parents who are comfortable with disabilities will be included. Parents of kids who are disabled and also have siblings could be included, thereby including the typically developing population as well and parents who are looking for a play date. So I think it's a win-win. Anybody who has any good ideas about implementing this or designing it, please let me know. Thank you.